Welcome back viewers. After four months of hard work, I'm finally turning this van into a home on wheels. This means no more rent and we can afford to keep exploring different countries with you. Today is the big reveal. I'm putting on the final touches and surprising Amy, who hasn't seen any progress for over a month. Trust me, you'll want to see her reaction. Let's get into it. I'm just like shocked. <laughs> it looks so good. So this is last night's efforts that we did in the dark. Looks good. Pan it. Amy's not doing great, as you mentioned. She's got that diagnosis and she's still getting the right meds and diet for it. So she's not doing too good. So I'm trying to surprise her and get as much of this done as possible. She doesn't know I'm doing the boards at all. Um, so again, I'm staining some boards. These ones I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put these here, across there. And right now, I'm putting cupboard faces on. Um, I'm trying to find nice pieces of wood. But the weather is a bit... Is that right? Bollocks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's heavy. Oh no! No! Ah! Fucking hell, why would it just suddenly start really? Uh, absolutely pissing it down. Fuck. God almighty. Is that all of it in? God, that just... <laughs> God, that was uh, unexpected. Right, I guess I'm just going to dry these off. Bloody Australian weather, mate. Can't bloody predict it. That was crazy. Oh, great, now the floor's muddy. Brilliant, brilliant. I better go shut that back door. That's really annoying, considering what I was up to. I think that stained wood had long enough to pretty much dry. Bloody typical. Uh, stains coming off on it. So it wasn't 100% dry. That just would happen, wouldn't it? <laughs> I've got no space in here now. Great, great. So, uh, nothing really to do except drink my beer and wait for the rain to pass. Oh, you can see there. It's dug, I hope that's not that dug in. This is a great time to introduce my sponsor for the video. Uh, great Northern Beer, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm not sponsored. Uh, so my plan, I'll show you what I'm doing at the moment whilst it rains. So putting these up to line them up, and then I'm just putting a little mark so I know where to cut them. And so the idea is that like these veins would be like one all the way along. It's a minor detail, maybe a lot of people won't notice it, but Amy said it and I just think it's a nice idea. It's the first time I've been in the van when it's been heavily raining. It's so cosy, I love it. <laughs> you can see that. Holy shit, I, I, I left a can outside. Fuck. I hope the lid was on, I don't know if the lid was on properly. Oh my god. I'm gonna get soaked. In the UK we get weather like this, like we get heavy rain, but I'd say by and large, like 
majority of it, like 80% is like quite light. Whereas in Australia, I feel like it's the opposite. I know we're in the subtropics, so we're at the border between tropical, uh, which is just basically North Queensland, like Cairns is tropical, um, and then sort of Mediterranean uh, down towards like Sydney way. And we're right in the middle, so we get strange weather here. And we also get strange um, fauna and flora. So this is very typical Australian bush out here, gum trees. But then in this area, because it's a subtropics, um, you'll also get quite tropical areas. So you get a mixture, and it also influences the kind of animals you, and insects you get around here as well. We get a mixture. But I think that's why we have such heavy rain compared to um, the UK, because it is essentially semi, you know, it's semi-tropical. But yeah, it's annoying, because when it rains, it's a mad dash. So I better find my beer again. So this plug, was in that puddle. So I've already been over there and turned it off before I plugged it in. But now I'm gonna go back over there, turn it on, and see if the van explodes. Yeah, I'm not gonna stand in that puddle whilst I flick it on. I think I'm gonna reach across. Whee! Ah! Okay. Ooh. No explosion yet. I'm not gonna stand in the puddle and press the button, but let's see. Okay, good. Didn't explode the van. Not electrocuted, still alive. Today's danger has been passed. That does look really smart. I love how the wood follows the grain. That is nice. Look how tight the little corners are. Oh, that is good. I've been cracking on until the uh, late night hours, like 10 o'clock at night, and I turned on the lights for the first time, and I just can't believe how good it looks. Like, I'm actually, it's actually a little bit emotional, like, I can't quite believe it, like, and, until I put the main lights on. I mean, look how cool this stuff is. And look at the way the, the light, like, goes down the wood, it's so beautiful. But, um... Yeah, just like the first time it's ever felt like a home and I've just constantly always seen this as a project rather than somewhere to live. Just like I've got to get through this, you know, finish it and hopefully that I'll go some way towards making Amy feel a bit better at the moment. Um, it's just become like a challenge, just like the Jordan Trail. But I just can't believe like the first time ever, like it has just dawned on me that like this is, this is, this is home. And oh my God, it's just like, I don't know, it's just like actually quite an emotional moment. like. Man, it's just like massive. It just made me realise that like I'm gonna be done in a week and a half, and you know it's gonna be the best feeling ever. Um, I honestly think it's gonna be like one of the biggest achievements of my life. <sighs> I'm working 12-hour days to get this done, um, and sometimes I haven't been filming much because you just gotta knuckle down and get on with it. I want to get this done for her. Also, I, what, she thinks that she, she feels bad because I'm doing it all, but I kind of think like it's kind of my job as her husband to. It's, I'll never get used to that. To look after her and make sure I give her somewhere nice to, to be, you know, um, as antiquated as that view might be these days. So um, yeah, I actually feel like it's an honour and a privilege to be able to work really hard for her and she very much appreciates it so all right so i've just arrived at bunnings uh, i've had my morning coffee um what i need to do this is the plot this is the uh poly white they call it especially it's basically painted ply but it's got a high gloss finished and they said that i would never get paint on here to look as good as this although i was just going to paint shiplap um but what i need to now get is some um trim for these cupboards so I'm going to make some measurements now, quickly, if I can, with this in the way. Alright, this is attempt number three. <laughs> attempt one. Attempt two. Attempt three. And this stuff is $80 a sheet. And the timber yard are finding it quite amusing that I keep turning up every day to buy another sheet. 
I have bought four so far and I've gotten one up. So now I just need to do this section here. So I'm going to put a beam across here. In fact, I've already cut it. So this is going to cover up that um, seam. Sweet. So I measured for about three hours. I measured again and again and again, and it fits the roof. Thank God. I'm just making some minor adjustments now, and then we'll get it up. I need to cut the hole for the light in it as well. There's a light that's gonna go there. But it's pretty good, because those ones are all in line. So far, everything's fitting. That's a miracle. So that's now in, and it meets here, which is good. Before, it was showing all this. I mean, most people wouldn't give a shit, but I mean, at this point, I want to get it perfect. <laughs> so it took me two hours, two and a half hours, and I've just varnished it. But I've got to make another one now, and that one is going to go in here. So that is now done. It all looks very good from this side, but when you come around the back, Still a lot of work to do. <laughs> there we go. Swing it, ling a ding dong. Perfecto. And there we have it. Pretty cool. I need to cut holes in this under here for all the spotlights. But I'm terrified. I'm terrified that if I do that, I'm gonna mess it up and I have to recut the whole thing and it's $83 a sheet and about an hour and a half's work to get it all lined up. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just dreading it to be honest. <laughs> I'm putting it off, but maybe I should just do it. So now I've got that in, I've got one more piece to do at the top and uh, yeah, I'm done. Now I'm going to do this side. Um, but overall, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I think once these come on, like the boards on the other side, it's actually going to create way more of like a bed nook uh, than I anticipated, which I really like. It's just quite cosy back here. And it feels like a separate area to the rest of the van, uh, which is what we're going for, but it seems to have really worked. I mean, just look at the wood, it's beautiful. And it's going to be another nine o'clock finish. I've been doing... Uh, 12 hour days, 13 hour days, get in here, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., uh, finish it. Well, actually, no, I usually get here 9 a.m. or just after, and then I finish uh, just after 9 p.m., so, yeah, 12 hour days. And I've done that consistently for about two weeks now, so. I'm hoping I've got one more week. Look at the size of this boy. Look at the size of him. They climb trees, so if I get too close to him, I'm watching out for spikes. Oh. Look at the size of him. Look at the size of it. He's a big boy. Look at it, beautiful, isn't he? There has been another major setback, and we got in touch with the, uh, the gas guy. He's like a caravan, I don't know gas engineer because uh, he's the only person that can certify us and he said that the distance between the hob and the cupboard above I've got to increase this area by 10 centimeters and I'm going to take 10 centimeters off the whole cupboard so to do that I'm going to take 10 centimeters off the columns here but the problem is this is curved so it's going to push everything forward I think as it rises it's going to go up and out I think uh, and if that's the case um, then these won't line up anymore so then I've got to trim off the back here um, so yeah, major fucking problem it's going to take me a couple of days to sort it out at least but what are you going to do? It's not, there's no point crying over spilt milk but a bit depressing so today I need to take this whole thing off all the doors, everything
as you guys have seen, this whole process has been trial and error, one disaster after another. This is one of the biggest ones, it took me back days. I'm on day two of trying to fix it, but now we've just had potentially the biggest disaster of all. Mm, I could just lie them down. <laughs> I am joking. But yeah, we're getting there. Keep on keeping on. Well, no, what was it in Jordan? Keep calm and scodge on. Been to uh, the lumber yard to get some more wood, and we're going to chuck those uh, in there. So I've just stained them as standard. Look how beautiful these are. Look at that. I don't know if it comes across in the camera, but they're just beautiful pieces of wood. I know that's like the lamest thing I've ever said, but that is a nice piece of wood, isn't it? So that's definitely going to go front and centre. It's just really got some nice coloration and patination in it. So after working late into the night last night, I got the new cupboards done. They're good, they open up the space a bit more, so there's a lot more wood here. So it does improve things. So I'll put some trim on here, which I've said about 10 times on this video, but not done because things have gotten in the way, like completely redoing the kitchen cabinets. And yeah, just like little fucking annoying things, like now this cupboard here, which I've just taken off, no longer opens because it hits this cupboard. So just, you end up just messing around with little things. Crazy windy day today. Had to move the van from over there because I was worried it's going to fall on the van. Wouldn't that be amazing? Just as I'm getting towards the end, the van gets crushed. Um, so yeah, got this in. I put this trim in. It's looking nice. And I got this little piece in here, which was an absolute nightmare. And then last night, deep into the night, I did this little bad boy. There's gonna be some trim on this, so I'm gonna change that. But otherwise, I think it's pretty good. It's pretty smart, because you can't really see it's there, which I quite like. And what I'm gonna do is, I, th I think, I'm just too scared, because I've already done it all. I'm gonna drill a hole here so it looks like it's just part of the wood and then I just put my finger in and pull it out when I want to get something. Just think it's cool. And then, uh, oh, so the other, uh, I say it's cool. Also, if I open the desk, there's not enough space to put a handle, so it's kind of the only solution, to be honest. I should just, I should just man up and do it, but there we go. Uh, so I'm just cutting now the cabinets. This is going down the back of the cabinet, which is terrifying because I don't want to um, drill a hole through the side of the van right at the end of the build, so I'm gonna take my time with that. But yeah, I've just done little bits as well, like just little bits that take a while and you have to measure right. So I put a panel on here, I recut this piece at the top, that needed a new piece there. Oh, just these little things. I feel like I'm close, but I've still got like a million jobs to do. Um, and yeah, I know these aren't the best looking sunglasses, they're a very cheap pair. I think on this channel, in the last like six months, or whatever it's been, I've gone through like four pairs of sunglasses. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, <laughs> if, if I could find a sponsor that would give me free sunglasses, that would be useful. <laughs> With my all of my 100 followers. So I've done a lot of the trim now. So, <clears throat> so we've got all the trim on the cupboards. It's like a beautiful bronze uh, trimmed out all here. This took me all day yesterday. This took me one whole day because every time I changed it, the uh, every time I put a piece of trim on it, the cupboard would no longer no longer open. <laughs> so yeah, just putting trim on it. Taking me days, um, but it's looking amazing. What I'm doing is I'm just cutting it off with the hacksaw. I've got a new blade for it. And occasionally I'm using the angle grinder to just like get the edges because a lot of it, you know, you have to like cut around hinges and like cut out of this so it goes around here and stuff like that. So it's a little bit pernickety. Um, pernickety? Fidgety, sorry. But we're getting there, slowly, slowly. So I'm just about to show Amy the nearly complete van. This is what the van looked like the last time she actually saw it. Ooh! Step forward. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> 
Oh, this looks so much better. Oh my god, it looks like a little house. <laughs> I'm just like shocked. <laughs> it looks so good. Maybe I will cry. Oh my god. All right, what's your favorite color? Color? Can you put that, hit that button on the sink? Hit that button on the sink up there. This? Yeah. Oh, it goes in. Your no, no, the, the button, the button. Oh. Hit that button. What's your favorite color? Is it purple? Is it red? That is it? So is cold. it blue? <laughs> what about green? Green's kind of cool. <laughs> How do you open? Oh, they're really sturdy. I like when you open it. You can see the lights. Actually, it's cool, isn't it? Oh, oh my god, it looks so good. <laughs> oh wow, I like this. <laughs> the trim looks nice. Oh, the skylight! Wow! Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> do, do you want wow. your remote? Do you want your remote? <laughs> ah! You got me! Yeah, there's some tools in there. Oh, I've got covers! Oh my god! Oh, you just gotta stuff that full. Oh, I don't wanna break it. No, you just pull it. Your sock, are you going to keep that as your sock and undie drawer? Yeah. Oh, the light looks good under here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks so good, babe. Oh, well done. You like, yeah. I even like seeing the lights. Like, I like it kind of like I know, that. I know, I cool. know. Ooh, the big reveal. Ready, go. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm moving in. <laughs> oh, oh my wow. gosh. It's so luxury. I know, right? Oh, it's great. I know. <laughs> oh, I love it. Go this step board. inside. Go Amy, inside. Show, show, show them Look at the lights. Yeah. What, what are these? Is... So, wait, wait, wait. Wow. Is this LEDs? Okay. Is that solar powered? Oh, yeah, these are solar powered. Oh, oh. solar powered. Bum, 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 oh bum, bum, my bum. gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love this kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. We've got gas struts so it stays up. We've got another light here. Sure. We've got lights here. This yeah. is the oh, remote oh, control cool. holder. I love it. So viewers, today is a bit of a sad day because we're selling our wonderful 1996 Toyota Corolla. And we're actually, despite the fact that we bought this car for £1,500, about $3,000, which uh, is actually $1,000 less than we've just sold it for. <laughs> but it's sad because although it's cheap, it's been a great little run around. I think it just really sort of fits into our whole ethos about life. It's not about what you've got, it's about the memories you make. And so it was like, you know, a big deal for us at the time, buying the Corolla, because we were a bit broke at the time after after um, COVID, I really suffered with work. Although we didn't have the most money in the world, you know, we had we had our, each other and we had our little Corolla, and it would get us to the beach and back, and it would take us hiking. So yeah, it's a sad day. Very sad, sad day. day. In one of the ice AC units, there was a piece of newspaper, and uh, I said to Amy, "Don't take that out," which was going to take it out. She's like, "Why?" I was like, "Well, obviously someone's put it there for a reason." And we left it in the in the uh, air vent for like two years, two and a half years. Yeah, the whole time. We the whole time we've had it. And when you took it out, you said the whole AC unit basically disintegrated. <laughs> it did. So all the bits fell back into like the AC tunnel. So I had to take all this, off. it was on that side, but I had to take all this off, unscrew the tunnel, like fish out the bits and then put them back into here. Yeah. <laughs> so don't touch little... Yeah, so she definitely has some quirks. In next week's episode, we'll give you a full van tour. So make sure you check that out.